Amnesty International doesn't hold back in this report, accusing authorities of using oppressive laws in the period pre and post the COVID-19 lockdown. Thousands have been arbitrarily fined, arrested, detained and prosecuted for peaceful activities, which should not be considered offences. Peaceful protests have been banned under draconian COVID-19 powers and hundreds of protesters fined. The report says that despite the COVID lockdown ending in May, a ban on all public gatherings of more than 10 people remained in force. It claims that this was disproportionate given that other large gatherings in open spaces were permitted. Yet even though it was deemed illegal, protests did take place, including ones linked to the Black Lives Matter movement. The ban was eventually overturned by France's highest administrative court. But Amnesty says that dozens, if not hundreds, of protesters were fined for participating in small public gatherings over the past few months. It says in the cases that it has documented, the fines imposed appear to constitute a disproportionate restriction to the right to freedom of peaceful assembly. That includes the case of Eleanor, a health worker who took part in a protest calling for support for the public health system. They, the police, stopped Eleanor, who was alone at the time, in front of the clothing store Zara. Law enforcement officials checked Eleanor's backpack, which contained a gas mask and a pair of goggles. They told her that she would be fined for participating in a banned protest. They subsequently arrested her and placed her in a pre-charge detention for participating in a group with a view to preparing violent acts. In 2018 and 2019, Amnesty says that more than 40,000 people were convicted on the basis of vague laws. The Yellow Vest movement was hit particularly hard. It's not just protesters who've been at the receiving end. Amongst those detained were first aiders, human rights observers and journalists. We were in Place de Republique. I was filming the police cordons. There were clashes around the square, but not where we were walking. We decided to leave and suddenly my friend shouted, Bryce, watch out. Several police caught me from behind and forced me to the ground. They insulted me and asked if I'd thrown projectiles against them. I told them that I was a journalist and that I had my student card. Bryce was placed in pre-charge detention before being told that he would be prosecuted for using violence against public officials. He was later acquitted. Amnesty is now calling on the French Parliament to review and to repeal all laws that impose a punishment solely for the exercise of the right to peaceful assembly. It also wants the Interior and the Justice Ministers here in France to offer clearer guidance for law enforcement officials so that unless someone is carrying a pair of goggles or a face mask and is suspected of being involved in a violent crime, they are not subject to detention. In light of this report, Amnesty says it's ironic that a country with such a long and proud tradition of collective action for social change is criminalising protest in this way. Charlotte Dubinsky, RT, Paris.